I'm in the city that used to be called Saigon, renamed Ho Chi Minh City after the country's leader during the Vietnam War. It's more than 40 years since the conflict ended, but its effects are still felt everywhere. This is Tuzu Maternity Hospital in Ho Chi Minh City. Now, Dr. Fu is based there, and she's a tireless campaigner when it comes to making people all over the world aware of the connection between Agent Orange and children born with deformities. I'm here to visit something called a peace village, one of 13 she has set up. She believes many of the children in them have been affected by Agent Orange a defoliant dropped by US forces. Everybody wants to speak to you. <laughs> yeah. This is the peace village. Yeah. Would you mind showing me some of the children? Tell me about this Dr. Gyun Di Gok Fua is internationally respected for her work. Germany. Though she's 77, and, uh, she feels she can't fully retire. Okay she takes me first to meet yes. a little girl That's called right. Cham. You see, left valley here. So this is a child yes. whose parents were affected by Agent Orange? Yeah. Oh. Mm, 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 oh. mm. He's blind. <laughs> and these are all signs of children who have been affected by Agent Orange? Yeah. You see, five deformities recognised by the scientific community. First is neural trip defects. Yeah. Deformities of sensory organs. Yeah. The Siamese twins, cleft valleys and cleft lip, yeah. and deformities of limbs. Those deformities are common in Vietnam. Dr. Phua told me that a research study she conducted showed that birth defects in Agent Orange sprayed areas were three or more times higher than other places. Here we take care of mainly the children affected by the Asian orange. About 60% of them uh, have parents directly exposed to the Asian orange during war or after the war. But the war was years ago. Why is it still affecting children now? This is third and fourth generation. One thing is that the dioxin can be transmitted from mother to the babies. The Agent Orange used during the war contained a dangerous chemical called dioxin. Dr. Fu and many scientists believe it can lead to genetic mutations. Studies where mice were given dioxin showed this. It's hard to prove in humans, but Dr. Fu herself is convinced that generations of Vietnamese children are being affected. Some children here were abandoned at birth. For some, it's a lifelong home, like Loy. Can you show me where you live? OK, welcome. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello, baby. <laughs> Hello. I get up. What's her name? Kit. Kit. And this baby? Her name is Cham. 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 Man. Huh? Huh? Very happy. You're like the big brother? Yes. Here, big family. Right, right, right. Is this your place? Yes. Come. Because Loy was born in an area affected by Agent Orange, Okay. One of the senior doctors told me they think there's a good chance his disability is dioxin-related. So you sleep in this room. Tell me about when you were a baby. Do you remember much about when you were a baby? Khi tôi bốn bốn tuổi, gia đình tôi khó khăn, nhà nghèo, nên mới gửi lợi vào đây. Would you rather be living at home with your family? Đến ngay bây giờ, và từng dần thời gian lớn và hiện tại bây giờ thì cảm thấy sống ở đây như một gia đình của mình một gia đình lớn ở đây có anh có em và chia sẻ với cho các em những gì mình đã biết this peace village ward is amazing and the work that's being done is incredible but I mean the harsh reality is 
If what Dr. Fur is saying about the connection between Agent Orange and the deformities that these kids are suffering is true, you know, she says 60% of them you know, are connected to Agent Orange, then the harsh reality is they are war victims. And war victims, they're paying for a war that happened over half a century ago. And the sad thing is, most of us have forgotten about it. Agent Orange was essentially a weed killer, but much, much stronger. It was used by the American forces to destroy the jungle their enemy used for cover. The production process caused contamination with the most toxic form of dioxin, known as TCDD. The levels in Agent Orange make it one of the most dangerous chemicals ever manufactured. Between 1961 and 1971, in that 10-year period, the US Army dropped millions of gallons of Agent Orange over jungle like this to strip it of all of its foliage Ở trên trời thì máy bay bay này, giải chất độc xuống à, và khi đó thì những người lính ở ngoài mặt trận mà bị nhiễm cái đó bị hít phải cái đó thì người ta sẽ chảy máu tai. Mr. Sun is a decorated Vietnam War veteran. He tells us he's the only one in his platoon that survived the war. 18 tuổi đời muôn dặm sông pha vì tổ quốc khi mà chất độc giải xuống thì phải đổ nước ra bịt mũi. Thế còn một ngày sau thì lá cây ở cái vùng đó rụng hết, cây trơ trụi cành này để làm lộ ra các cái mục tiêu quân sự. Were you directly affected by Agent Orange? Did it hit you? À, tôi là những người mà 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 mà, mà trực tiếp hít hít phải cái đó, à, rồi lại cái đó nó xuống xuống đất xuống nước thì mình lại nấu ăn, lại ăn bằng cái nước đấy, là ăn vào trong đường. Sun's daughter Toy, who is 41, is severely disabled and is classified by the government as an Agent Orange victim because of her father's exposure during the war. Thúy đang co giật đấy cháu ạ. Lần cháu giật này là đêm giật là cả nhà thức đêm luôn để trông để xoa bóp này đỡ. Cháu trong cái tình trạng co giật như thế này là từ khi mới đẻ ra cho đến bây giờ bốn mươi mấy năm. Based on the limited studies that have been done, the Vietnam Red Cross estimate those affected by Agent Orange at around 3 million, of whom 150,000 are children with birth defects. The government provides a monthly payment to over 200,000 families. Thúy là câm, điếc. Mù, liệt. Their son, Hung, is 38 and a celebrated monochord musician and composer. He's gradually gone blind. You and your sister and your parents are known as Agent Orange victims. How does that make you feel? Uh, năm hơn 10 tuổi một tí khoảng 10, 12 tuổi uh, thì uh, mắt phải của tôi con mắt còn lại thì bắt đầu có những cái dấu hiệu là nó nó kém dần đi bắt đầu đi khám bác sĩ rồi bắt đầu nghe mọi người nói nhiều hơn và ở cái tuổi này thì bắt đầu cũng đã có hiểu được rất là nhiều rồi thì mới mới biết được những cái thông tin là cái chất độc da cam thì nó có thể ảnh hưởng đến cái sức khỏe uh, không phải chỉ là một thế hệ mà có thể là còn có những thế hệ sau này nữa nó nó để lại một cái dấu ấn ở trong cái tuổi thơ của mình. Do you ever feel angry or frustrated at what has happened to you? Uh, cũng không tránh khỏi những cái suy nghĩ giận cam giận là vì tại sao mà cái cuộc chiến tranh nó lại mang tới những cái điều mà mà có lẽ nó nó đi ngược lại với các cái giá trị nhân văn tốt đẹp của con người đến như vậy. What lovely people. And you know what, I'm guessing that when Sun left the army, he was probably hoping to leave behind the war and all the memories of the atrocities, but the birth of his kids and the fact that they're both disabled mean that his family can never forget. Vietnamese doctors are concerned parents affected by Agent Orange 
are passing on genetic defects to their children. But they're also worried about the fact there are still areas heavily contaminated with dioxin. One of them is Danang Air Base, which is right behind me. And it's been quoted of having dioxin levels that are 350 times higher than the international safety standards. Now, we've been told that there are US specialists in there at the moment carrying out a cleanup operation. But what I think is absolutely nuts is that the only thing that's separating the Vietnamese population from one of the most contaminated places on the planet is a wire fence. Da Nang was the main US airbase during the war, where huge stockpiles of Agent Orange were stored. The chemical residue remained, seeping into Da Nang's water supply and getting into the food chain. The US government has donated millions in aid to clean up Da Nang and other hotspots, working with the Vietnamese government. The Da Nang Association for Victims of Agent Orange introduced me to one of the families whose children might have been affected by dioxin. Their dad served in the army after the war, but went to areas that had been sprayed. And he believes that he may have passed on the effects to his young son, who's now in Da Nang Hospital fighting for his life. I'm gonna go and meet him. Diet has had heart problems all of his life but was recently rushed to hospital when things took a turn for the worse. His parents, Ming and Hai, have to take it in turns to give him constant care. At the moment, he can't lie down because it's too painful. He has to sleep propped up. He, he needs a heart transplant. Yeah. And how much would it cost? So it's about $40,000. And how will you get that money? What do you think has caused Diep's problems? Diep's heart defect is on the list of conditions that the Vietnamese government associate with Agent Orange. But his family could also just be unlucky. I asked Diep's doctor what he thinks. Speaking to his parents, they believe that um, his illness could have been caused by Agent Orange because his father worked in the army and he walked through contaminated fields. Anything can happen. Mm. So until now, the exactly cause is not clear. The problem is, not only have they got to deal with their son, who is in so much pain, yeah. but they don't know the reason. But uh, medicine field have limited. Yeah, so we know what is happening in that body, but we don't know the cause exactly. There's no test that can prove a genetic illness has been caused by Agent Orange. What has these last few months been like for you? It's not just exposure to Agent Orange in the past that worries Diep's father. He believes his village is still affected by it. Xin chào. Ming, I'd really love for you to show me how this area was impacted by Agent Orange. Okay. 
Ah, venga, venga. Ya, down here. Còn, còn ở đây là, là, là họ trồng trồng lúa lúa coi như là nó lên nó có cây nó cũng vàng rồi rồi, rồi à, nói chung là là cái hạt nó cũng lép bị ừ. cũng là bị mất mùa không 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 thu hoạch được so in this area can you not grow any more crops không không thể trồng được trồng là nó chết do you think the reason for the poor crops is because of agent orange ai đó thì tôi không biết nhưng mà tôi nghĩ là chất độc hóa học nó thấy rã quanh một cái vùng như thế là để cho coi như là, là cây cối nó, nó nó cháy thôi nếu nó cháy thì thì, thì con người không qua ảnh hưởng chứ còn không thể không thể thoát được. We were told by the Da Nang Association for Victims of Agent Orange that it was stored near here, but that no tests have been done to check dioxin levels. So Min can't know for sure, but he's convinced his family have been at risk. Hello. Even though he's very sick, Diep has asked to come home from hospital. How are you? <coughs> Why did you want to come back home? I don't know. I don't know. I meet the rest of the family. I know your son, he also has problems as well. Do you mind if we see your stomach? Because Min can't prove he was exposed to dioxin, the family can't get any compensation. You can see how much they really cherish having Diep back home, and it was Diep who actually requested to be brought back home because he wanted to be around the people who love him. But what just keeps sticking with me and keeps hitting me is that they will never, ever know for sure what has caused their son's illnesses. And all they can do is just enjoy these precious moments that they have left. Sadly, just a week after my visit, Diet passed away. It could be lack of funds, it could be lack of will, or that the science is very hard. But I'm shocked at how much still needs to be done to understand the effects of Agent Orange. I go to see Dr. Fuhr back at the Peace okay. Village. I know you've been working all day today, so... How do you feel when you see all of these children here whose parents have been affected by Agent Orange and they've passed it on to their children? Uh, the people who cause uh, such crimes, they don't recognize their responsibility. For example, the chemical companies, they still there. Uh, they, they don't uh, have any responsibility. I think everybody must get angry with them. In 2008, Dr. Fuhr was a key witness when Vietnamese groups tried to sue the US chemical companies that made Agent Orange. They lost because the US courts ruled its use didn't violate the rules of war and that the US government and manufacturers weren't aware of all the risks to human health. Without admitting liability for the effects of Agent Orange, the US government has given $21 million to help disabled people in Vietnam living in sprayed areas. Dr. Fuhr would like more. And how difficult is it for a family who give birth to a child who's affected by Agent Orange? For several, it's uh, to face the people living around. You see, they say that, oh, you have done something bad thing, so that God punished you to give you such a, a child. So they get a lot of stigma from the people around yeah. because they have and Asian orange children. They, most of them are very poor because uh, 
they live in the spread areas in the war zone. It's very difficult for them to take care of uh, such a, a child. Before I leave Vietnam, I want to catch up with the Peace Village's big brother, Loy. Loy, you go to train now? Yes, I now go swimming. He's a fellow athlete. Okay. I've dropped in on a photo shoot his friends are doing for Loy's social media profile. Loy's a success story from the Peace Village, took up Paralympic swimming represents Vietnam, and now he's having a photo shoot. Look at him, he's a star. Hello. Hello. Hey. My friend. With all of this training you're doing, do you want to try and make it into the team for 2020, for the uh, Paralympics in Tokyo? I try my best. What, to win gold? To go medal? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I think uh, brown. Brown? No, 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 you have to think gold. No gold. bronze, no, 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 gold. Oh, you got your medals? Yes, medal. Oh, wow! Woo! Look at this! Asian para games. Yes. Myanmar. Yeah, Myanmar. All very special. Yes. I know. <laughs> I know. Tell me about your disability, your condition. You know, how, do you know much about the history and the reasons? Còn về vấn đề mà bị bệnh di tật như này thì lại không biết và cũng không có quan tâm lắm. Vì hiện tại mình có một cuộc sống rất là tốt, rất là vui vẻ. You're really confident, yes, smiling yes, all the time. But do you think some of the other children here, do you think they will have more problems when they go out into society? Mùi anh lớn muốn chia sẻ và dạy dỗ lại cho các em mình sự tự tin, mạnh mẽ để sau này các em bước ra đời với một đối với lợi khuyết tật không có là trở ngại gì hết. Đó là chỉ là sự khác biệt với mọi người thôi. It's about who you are as a person, not your disability. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I love Loy's attitude. He's a huge inspiration and perhaps represents the next generation right, looking right, forwards right. in Vietnam. OK. No one is going to accept blame for what happened in a dreadful war. But if the US and Vietnam got together to investigate the effects of Agent Orange further, it might stop more children being born with terrible disabilities. <laughs>